G'day homesteaders. Today we've got a brand new washing machine delivered right here to our house here in Ireland. Uh, it says here, it looks like at least, the two tools I will need is something to cut this strapping, which would just be a box cutter will be fine. I'm not going to use the box cutter anywhere else, just in case I scratch this washing machine. And uh, the other one is this. It's a shifter or a monkey wrench. I think that's what they call them in America. Uh, a shifter, yeah, because it moves. Uh, this is gonna be because there are four bolts at the back. Let's have a look. And you can't operate the washing machine until you have uh, unscrewed these four bolts, removed them completely, gone into the front of the washing machine, and then pulled out all of the uh, hoses and whatever other bits of uh, information are in there. There's a book, probably. It's all packed up as one. And uh, anything that's loose is inside the washing machine. So you gotta open it all up and then open the washing machine and then pull out the hoses and stuff. But like I said, these four bolts are holding the drum in place when it's being transported. And then so once you pull the four bolts out, the washing machine can spin freely. And if you don't do that and you turn it on, because it's fixed, the engine will just explode in a sec. It will just go boom and you will have a broken washing machine. And I don't think that would be covered in the warranty if the bolts are still in there. Uh, I can show you a little trick. All you need is one of these straps. That's the hard part, you gotta get the first strap. And then these straps are so strong, you could literally lift 20, 40, 50 kilos with one of these straps. And if you don't have a knife at hand, you can just grab one strap like this, hold it between two hands, and then you rub it back and forth because of that sort of uh, abrasive pattern that's on there. This sort of crisscross pattern. And once it starts to get warm, it cuts the plastic pretty quickly. It takes a few runs, but I'll show you how it's done, all right? It got hot and it popped. Sometimes it frays as you do that, but this time it just popped because it was so hot. The end's even like kind of a bit melted. That's how hot it was. Okay, I'll take this rubber. Like I said, I'm not using the knife on the box, but I'll use it just to cut the plastic. Then we peel this thing off and we can get at the goodness. Again, it reinstates. Unscrew these four bolts. You better do that before you do anything, even before you open the washing machine. All right, so I'm gonna peel the rest of this thing off. It comes off pretty easy. I'm not sure what to do with this styrofoam. I can't really reuse it for anything. It's not very thick. It's not really uh, gonna lend itself to be recycled very easily. No, I'm not sure. Anyway, so here are those four bolts. I got my handy shifter. Let's get to start number one. If you have a socket set, you can do this much faster. Just find the right socket piece and you'll be done in no time. Oh, that's not hard. I guess the rest is finger tight. Whew. So is that bolt. 
I'll recycle these, I think I can use them for something else. Yeah, sockets, that would be easier. Come on, Emma. is hard to do because that plastic that's coming up. You can see what I'm doing here. That plastic kind of gets in the way when I turn it. But you don't have to turn it very much. Blasted. Blasted. Just keep filming anyway. Cut out all that stuff, but it's going to take ages. Double. Do we not need that? No. Refer to diagram. Refer to diagram. What does that mean? Look at the picture. Oh, it's over there. Okay, it says, and pull out that plastic bit. Hmm. That's a picture of someone pulling out, and they're pulling, putting them all on the top, and counting them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no worries. That would have been wrong to leave those plastic parts in there. I was wondering what that plastic bit was for. Not for anything. It's kind of exciting getting a new washing machine. If you've gotten a new washing machine before, leave a comment below and tell us how it was. Did someone install it for you? Because we haven't done this before, but it's easy as pie. So. Three. Three. Any monkey with a monkey wrench could do it, I imagine. Is that this pesky one? Adrian invited us over for tea some night. His wife does a lentil thing, you might be interested in. Oh. Indian? Yeah. Go on. I don't know why this one's so difficult. It's just because I can't. I think half of plumbing is just trying to fit the thing into the thing it's supposed to go into. Hmm. Because all the sizes are right, but then the space, see this plastic pushes it up. Mm -hmm. So I can't get down. Alright, I'll cut all of that out of the video. You can see there's nothing else I can do here, right? There's no other secret. The angle that it's been bent at, turned to, is exactly the angle so I can't get this in at a good 
because the plastic always gets in the way and they're uh, everywhere I don't know try to do it from the top alright film it that way no from where my hand is all right so I've had a little bit of trouble with the uh, one nut just one nut and uh, because I can't get in there properly you could find this problem yourself when you get your washing machine but check it out if the plastic pushes it off the hinge it doesn't stay on there the plastic is up high here on the side so there's no really good way to get the wrench onto it so I'm going to basically try to do it from the top like this and if lucky if I'm lucky I'll be able to just turn the whole thing and avoid those plastic shoulders let's see how that goes oh, bastard. it's hard to get leverage when you go from the top Oh, it started moving. <sighs> Wish I could turn this plastic. How the hell would you do that? Let's see if I can turn the plastic. Yeah, fuck the plastic. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to get some results. See? The plastic was the only thing that was stopping me from doing it. And in the end, the plastic part comes off. That was tricky. All right. Four. All right, the back is completely free now, which means we can open the front of the machine. Straightforward setup. Do you want to open the door? Mm -hmm. now pull out whatever's in there. Stick it on the top. Alright, so what it came with was one input hose. I was hoping for two hoses, an input hose and an output hose. You know, a drain. But that's okay. Uh, it's a good start. Let's put this hose where, on the only logical place it could go. No, there's not a hose. Ah, that's the out. Ah, very nice. It's flexible. So this one we basically just guide to the place we want to stick it on. We've already got that prepared. And uh, so yeah, this is already on the machine. The out and the in has to be somewhere. Oh, here it is. Have a look. This thing here has a filter on it. So the water itself is also filtered. Uh, and then you whack this bad boy on. Can you see that all right? It's the only hose that came with the machine. And I use the right angle one because this will be pushed right up against the wall. The other end is just a standard end. And that's okay because our hose under the sink uh, will be happy to accept an attachment that's straight on, not at a right angle. All right, what's in this pack? Some kind of 
quality assurance stickers. Maybe we hold on to them as a proof of purchase. Ah. These four caps logically would want to go into the empty spaces that we took out from the back of the machine. It's like Lego, like for grown-ups. Get in there. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. One more. Here it is. There's always one. Ah, it's a little tougher than the others. What on earth is that? Oh, that goes into the dish. All right. Slotsky. Slotsky. That's where you put your uh, fabric softener that we don't use. Okay, there's some giant sticker that isn't really necessary for anything. Um, A++, that's not bad though. The German made product, we got it here in Ireland because this was the, the company that seems to have a better standard of appliance than some of the others like Juicy or Frosty or... Candy. Candy. <laughs> Juicy. Yeah, sure. Uh, Normenda is not from Norway, although it has the the Nord in it. It just means North Mende. So yeah, yeah, it's a German brand, German quality, German goods. Good prices too. I'm happy with that. All right, and a booklet. The smart. The smart homeowner is a person who would actually take this booklet and whatever sort of uh, bits and pieces come with it. Maybe there's a guarantee. I'm a smart. What do you and call And stick me? it into a plastic bag. Yeah, there it is. All with this. Yep, into a plastic bag altogether. All right. Uh, but do it so that you know what the product is, all right? Do it so you can actually see the name of the manual on the front and there's a picture of the machine all right the rest of it can just all go together don't lose anything i know you really really want to throw away the lebanese instructions or whatever <laughs> but don't do that uh, because you never know what part of it might come in handy or which part of it might be important for you and stick it into a plastic bag hope it fits oops Almost. <laughs> Almost. It's just the sticker is big. It's okay, I'll fold the sticker. The book isn't that big. But it's in a plastic bag at any rate. Alright, fold that up. Let's see. The sticker's a bit big. But still, keep all that stuff together. All your appliances, we keep all ours in the kitchen. So if something goes wrong or we need to fix something, then we just refer back to the manual. All right, this bad I boy peel that has off. got plastic to be peeled off. I want to peel it. Give it a go. Oops. Fun. All right, we're just about ready then. Um, we'll make another video tomorrow because uh, I don't know if you can notice this. Have a look behind you. The doorway is not big enough to actually fit the washing machine into. Maybe, look, I'll have a look at it this way. The washing machine. Wait a <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> All right, <laughs> washing machine doorway which I think is 60 centimeters and the washing machine is a minimum of uh, 80. This is 58 and I think this is, I have no idea, but it's very wide. Yeah. But you know what I noticed? It's wider than deep. That's cool. Yes. It's not very deep. Mm-hmm. And it's so 
shiny. I'm looking forward to using it tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll make another video where we actually plug the cables in. And uh, all it really is, is one end goes onto a, a pipe out, water out. And the other one, which looks a little bit more robust, uh, this is for the water in. All right, it has a little filter in there, which is kind of nice. Um, and you know, like check on your pipes and things uh, from time to time to make sure they're not building up any kind of residue. We don't use any um, fabric, uh, fabric softener. softener because it's a waste of time and energy and it's actually bad for you. So and we don't do it. And for the environment. And for the environment. All right, so and then tomorrow, short video, how to plug in two hoses. And I give you a tip how to keep the new washing machine clean forever. There is a tip, a secret tip, from me to you. It's not really secret, but it's a tip. <laughs> Alright, um, thanks for tuning in. This has been John Green. And Dominique Green with uh, an unboxing of a Normenda washing machine right here, right now on uh, Green Ideas. This is the Green Ideas channel for people who want to renovate, uh, innovate, recyculate, uh, and basically make the world a better place. Masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> right here on YouTube. Stay tuned. Uh, we have new videos coming up from week to week now that we're uh, settled here in um, so stay tuned thanks for watching YouTube <laughs>